uh, activities for developing oral expression in the school system learning and uh, what activities are very important for uh, uh, you know uh, just uh, giving the practice to children to uh, get command on any language oral expressions and oral expressions are very important uh, because uh, uh, what language you are learning then uh, this language needs your expression and you can express this language by writing writing is expression written expression and oral expression that you are speaking so for speaking some activities or some uh, 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 some uh, some practice is involved uh, to get mastery over it and what activities are very essential at school uh, or in school environment uh, we will discuss today and uh, uh, so first of all teach concept words whatever the concept of today's lecture is for example today's lecture topic is discipline so you can ask different questions from your students and you can introduce the concept uh, first of all you should introduce that word discipline is either you can start from your students that do you know what is discipline student will tell you that uh, what is discipline then you can ask different examples of discipline from your students they will give you example so in this way uh, the students will not think about that what language they are speaking but actually they are thinking and they are sharing their ideas with you and uh, question to boost comprehension questions are very important that you should ask throughout the lecture and don't give them the dummy uh, lecture uh, that they are listening you like deaf and dumb and they are not asking any question this is not the you know uh, live class uh, uh, context but if you want to bring life into the classroom then you need to just ask different questions from your students and you should uh, uh, answer them and you should appreciate their questions and uh, with appreciation students will ask more questions teach for oral reading fluency you should ask them to read from uh, their course book and uh, reading is very important because they will improve their pronunciation and uh, they will improve the language hurdles and uh, whatever they are reading then you can ask anyone to just summarize whatever the student has already read and uh, sentence completion yes you should write a sentence on the board and you should ask the specific word from the students to complete the sentence so this is this can be very good activity for students they will take interest and they will think about it they will imagine and they will tell you the answer to complete the sentence and partner reading yes uh, you can uh, ask your uh, class to make a pair and uh, every pair will present uh, will present any idea and both partner they can even role play one can be customer one can be shopkeeper and uh, they will do conversations and uh, this conversation will be you know fun for students and uh, they will ask uh, different questions or different you know dialogues they will exchange with each other so by this way they will learn the language very well and uh, partner reading means uh, they actually are talking with their partner and partner both are uh, questioning and answering and uh, monitored reading monitor reading that if the child is reading then teacher is monitoring uh, the other students are monitoring and uh, teacher is also uh, making cor cor corrections in the reading and uh, she is asking the student uh, to just point out uh, the mistakes that he or she is making uh, at that time and uh, by this way students will you know improve reading and with the with the passage of time or uh, within 10 days students can improve their reading if they are daily reading so daily reading activity is very important for uh, language improvement and uh, monitor reading that under the supervision of the teacher and students they are listening and repeated reading yes uh, once the children have completed one lecture and uh, they made many mistakes then you will ask your students to read again and uh, you should also uh, give them some incentives in the form of uh, clapping, admiration, candies, uh, uh, stars, uh, tokens, or certificates, or books, or any gift. 
so you should uh, arrange this competition and uh, daily you can ask that uh, in this week uh, who will uh, uh, win uh, consecutively for three days or four days then he would be the winner of the week and you can give them the names different names that he would be the hero of the week or he would be the boy of the week so you can also uh, you know give them these names and titles so with these names and titles students will take interest more more teacher will show more motivation to learn and by this way and these activities students will be able to demonstrate or student will be able to orally express their ideas uh, with fluency and uh, without any fear of making mistakes and uh, with full confidence and without any fear in the mind they will remove their shyness and reluctance and they can be fluent uh, with no time